Hey everybody, welcome back to Vikings Connected. My name's Erin Newberg, this is Chris Hockey, and it is time for the return of our new segment called Purple Pups, brought to you by North Memorial Health. Yeah. Did you, did you hear, did we bring a puppy in? I don't think so, no. Okay. So who do we have this week? This week we've got Coach Zimmer and the dog he loves so much, this is Jolie. Come here, Jolie. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I guess the biggest thing when, when Corey first got her was, um, what are we doing with this little dog? Because we've always had labs before. Because she's really not a hunting dog or anything like that, but she's really a great dog. She really likes to sit next to me, like when I'm watching TV or anywhere. She comes up, sits next to me. I give her a massage for about three hours, so I guess that's why she likes me. She's a busy body a little bit. She likes to look out the window and climb on your lap and, um, and sit next to you while you're driving and then kind of what we're doing right now, just sitting here and then kind of rub her, rub her neck and her ears and things like that. So She likes to take naps with you. Cory bought her pet steps so that she can climb up onto the bed. She doesn't have to jump because she's getting older now. but. She'll be sleeping here in a minute. Here, down the stairs. Come on, this way. We say she's lucky. We dress her up in the Vikings uniform, and um, Corey wants to bring her to all the, when they're watching the games from at home. She, she's always the good luck charm. She comes to training camp, and she'll go out there, and you know the players that know her will stop and say hi, and then. Uh, she comes to the walkthrough on Saturdays a lot of times. One time uh, she was at training camp and Terrence came over and petted her and he got three interceptions that day. So from then on she was lucky. Terrence knew her from the Dallas days too. She's pampered, spoiled for sure. She just had steak for lunch. <laughs> Corey makes her meals for her. So she'll go get the peas and carrots gets steak, cooks the steak, cuts it all up. Sometimes she even hand feeds her because she won't eat. Corey buys her about a new toy every week. And what she likes to do is rip the toy apart. Just pulls, pulls the strings out of it and there's little things everywhere. And then like when she's playing, like she'll th you'll throw, throw the toy and she'll go get it. And that might go on for two hours. She's always doing that. So she chases the, the drone. If the drone ever starts up, that's when she starts barking. And, and, and if anybody makes a fart noise, she does not like that either. <laughs> we shot a turkey and uh, we were cleaning it and Jolie was there while, while we were doing it. And she was going berserk, barking and yapping at it. I don't, I don't know why. What side? Huh? Most of the time she's in here, she kind of has a free run of the place. Mary likes to grab her and take care of her if I have to go do something. She'll go down the hallway and peek in an office, say hi to somebody and then run back out. Kind of like she did with you today. Come on, or you can come see George. She's just a good dog. She doesn't cause any trouble usually. Right, Jojo? It kind of seems like you're her favorite. I am. I am. She likes Corey an awful lot too, but when I'm there, she's mine. <laughs>